I'm John Delaney, I'm Head of Second World War History at the Imperial War Museum and behind me are Montgomery's three campaign caravans. Field Marshal Sir Bernard Law Montgomery was Britain's most famous Second World War general, most famous for routing the Africa Corps and knocking Rommel out of North Africa. The three uh, caravans themselves were part of his forward headquarters, they were sort of the heart of his headquarters unit. The caravan directly behind me is his bedroom caravan which he uh, acquired in May 1943 from an Italian general named Giovanni Messi, who he beat in Tunisia. And it was his bedroom from then onwards until the end of the war. And uh, he's quoted as saying that he wouldn't, he wouldn't turn out of it for anyone. It was his bedroom. He didn't give it over to anybody else for anybody else's use, except for two people. And that was the King and Winston Churchill, when Winston Churchill visited him. And then he went and found accommodation elsewhere. The office caravan was acquired first, but that was captured just before uh, the Battle of El Alamein, just before actually he came into command and he, and he acquired it from an Italian general who was named General Bergenzoli and he was known as General Electric Whiskers because he had a huge moustache. The map caravan, the third caravan, was built specifically for him for the D-Day landings because he wanted a bespoke built caravan where he could lay out all his maps and work out where his troops were going to move in the battles to come. The caravans themselves are of great interest to the Imperial War Museum because they can tell the story of the individual through the contents of the caravans. We can be certain from wartime photography and from his personal reminiscences that this is exactly how they looked and also the contents are the exact contents that were there at the end of the war. For example in the map caravan you can see all the pinpricks where all the British units were on the very final day of the war. Within the office caravan, he still hung on the walls all the portraits of the opposing generals. He used to sort of sit there and think while looking at the portrait photography of the general he was up against. And he said somehow it, it enabled him to, to, to think clearer about what he was going to do in the battle that was, was to come.